Uh, with ID, I think for me it's always been a kind of subcultural institution, so it's always really kind of grasped what was going on at the kind of the sort of street level of fashion and then how that is the relationship with high fashion. So you always get this great mix of the two and, and how they meet and I think that's why it's such an interesting magazine. When I think about uh, the Alberto Guardiani brand, I find it in a way similar with ID that they have um, this beautiful way of looking forward and looking back so they incorporate traditional skills with a fashion forward vision to create a really original product. For me personally it is about the show and the drama and the escapism. So the places that I really want to go to in Milan are uh, the Duomo, which is the, like, the Gothic cathedral because that would be very inspiring for me and my work because um, my work has that sort of dark edge to its beauty. Um, I'm really interested to go to the more uh, culturally modern areas with the galleries, I think it's La, La Brera, and, um, and also down by the river, I, I hear there's a lot of contemporary galleries, so it's always interesting to go and see the new work that's being produced in cities which are so beautiful in their traditional architecture. So, it, yeah, it was you know, I, I love opportunities and it's always worth taking part in, in everything and with two such uh, important brands, it was, you know, a no-brainer. Um, I don't have a favourite colour. My, pro I probably work more in colour palettes, so I love nudes, um, nude and flesh, and then I also have a huge love of uh, pastel colours but when they're then sort of matched with a sort of much more vibrant colour, so... Um, but then I also love, you know, the kind of more mustard, earthy, minty colours, so... Um, I couldn't say, I suppose if I had to say one colour, it would be blue, but I wouldn't like to constrict myself to saying I, I have one favourite colour.